sharp bite sometimes, you know. But it was pretty amazing to see you fly off that tower and blow up the entire basin. The thing is, um, there's going to be more of that. I'm out of leads, Varl. But I, I have to keep searching. And fast, and whatever risks I have to take, I will. And it doesn't make sense to have someone with me. Someone who might get hurt. This is on me, Varl. Nobody else. Hold on. Before, in Meridian, you said there was a man who helped you. Silence. You said you used to talk to him a lot about things you discovered from the old world, things no one else understands. And he gave you the lance you used to defeat Hades. He's gone, Varl. I haven't heard from him since the battle against Hades. Sure, but Spymaster Murad back in Meridian, he's good at finding people, isn't he? Varl, I... <sighs> Come on, it might work. Plus, you'll get to see some friendly faces again. <laughs> okay. I... I guess it's worth a shot. We've got a long walk ahead. Actually... I've got a better idea. Got something back in Meridian? Look, Varl. It doesn't matter. Made it just in time. Get into the camp. Now. You gonna make it? You're going on without me, aren't you? I'm stuck with Aaron. For now. Come on. I'll take you back to the fort. I've... I've got it. Hey, hey, easy. Easy there. Hey, 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 hey. It's right here. And the way you were clutching it when I found you, I knew it was important. Where are we? An outpost of the Utaru tribe. Not far from where you fell. How long? Two days. Uh, 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 uh. 
Uh, Aloy? There's no time. I found something. In the mountains west, west of Plains. Plains song. Yeah. Kept muttering it while I carried you. Look, Aloy, whatever it is that you found, you're in no shape. To... I will crawl if I have to. Okay, fine. But before you do that, there's someone you should talk to. An Utaru named Zo. And she told me there's been trouble in those mountains. A cave spitting out deadly machines. Can't be a coincidence, right? Well, why do we need her? Let's head for the cave. It's in Utaru territory. Her territory. She can help us. You'll see. Let's go see this marvelous so then. As verdant limbs wither, roots rot in snow, still the seed rises as certain as stone. So? She should be in bed. Aloy doesn't really do should. You're so right. Varl said I should talk to you about the machines in the mountains west of Plainsong. I am a grave singer. My place is here. We can talk once you've healed. What's wrong with it? Her. The name is Ray, not it. She's one of our land gods, and she's dying. But not just dying. She's suffering. Her condition is not your concern. So, if anyone can help, it's Aloy. May I? to do might look bad, but it will help. Spear. West of Plainsong. There's trouble out there? The Otaru have trouble everywhere. Our fields blighted, our settlements abandoned. But the cave in the mountains is the worst of it. It is a sacred place. Fa, another of our land gods, went inside weeks ago, but she hasn't emerged. Killer machines pour out instead, threatening to overwhelm us. It's never happened before. Wouldn't be your first sacred cave. I need to get into that cave. What? No one does that. Well, it's time to make an exception. It belongs to the land gods. Look, so. There is something inside there. Something that could solve problems all over the world. The storms, the derangement. <laughs> Maybe even your broken land gods. What could possibly do all that? A spirit? Yeah. Something like that. I could journey back to Plainsong. Assemble the chorus. Tell how you soothed Ray. Ask their permission to go inside. Great. 
I'll get my things. She needs rest. You don't have to tell me. Okay, I'm fine. Assembling the chorus will take time. Heal first, then join me. Fine. Bed rest. I got it. She does not need you to help her heal. You could come with me to plain song. Lend your voice to mine as I try to persuade the chorus. It might help her cause. I'd like to, but I'm afraid she might run off. Really? Very well. Later then. So, wait. It's not uh, that I don't want to go with you. It's just that I... Is that what you were trying to say? Um... Yes. Then I look forward to more conversation. Yeah, me too. You're supposed to be resting. Laurel, you should go with her. I'll get better on my own. You trying to get rid of me so you can... <sighs> no. Not this time. I'll meet up with you in plain song when I'm ready. You sure about this? Yes. Go. Get out of here. Okay. So, wait. Who are they? You said you couldn't have assembled the chorus without him. What did you do? Uh, some in the chorus refused to meet to consider your request. They believe that the cave belongs to the land gods alone. But Varl saw that what you did with Ray could be used to our advantage. Sometimes it isn't enough to ask the people in charge. You need others to ask for you. As many as possible. We spread the word about how you soothed Ray? There may even have been a little exaggeration. Growing interest put pressure on the chorus until they finally agreed to meet. I saw it work a few times with the matriarchs, and even with my mother, once or twice. Nice job. You can handle the politics from now on? Oh, no. I'm sure we'll still need you to cut through them from time to time. So, that then, when you're ready, meetings like <sighs> All right. If... Assuming the chorus agree to allow you a... Aloy can be pretty convincing in these situations. We'll see. Do what you need to prepare. We'll wait for you above, where the chorus is gathered. Laurel, are 
Are you ready? We have to get down. One step at a time. But it starts now. we go. But there's more. Like Aloy said, this is only the beginning. I need to head further west. To, um... Get more of Gaia's components. Make her stronger. You two can stay here in the meantime. And Gaia can help get you up to speed. I'm not trying to shut you out. This, it's like... training. Actually, I'm gonna go back east to get Erend. Bring him here. Look, allies, friends, can help. We have a place to stay now. And like you said, Gaia can teach us, catch us up. It'll be okay. Okay. Take these then. One to wear, one for backup. Are you going with him? No. After what happened in the cave below, I want to stay here a while. There is much I need to understand. Maybe by the time you get back, I'll have a thing or two I can teach you. Looking forward to it. When will you be back? I'm, uh, I'm not sure. But hopefully I'll have one of Gaia's missing components with me. Be careful out there. Even in Plainsong, we heard how the Tanakh clan lands are suffering from storms, machines, and now Regala. Don't worry about me. I'll be fine. Good hunting, Aloy. I think he's seen enough blood for a lifetime. I showed him to one of the rooms. He seems to appreciate the privacy. Uh, looks like you've got things under control. I should get this to Gaia. Right. We'll keep on training. Catch up as fast as we can. I'm seeing glyphs in my dreams already. Well, while you've been off gallivanting around, I've been working with Gaia to find out more about the land gods. So from where I'm standing, you're in need of some training. Come along. Uh... Oh, uh... Okay. Varl looks happy about his training partner. Learning is best done together. Looks like someone's made this space their own. I see you found Varl and Zoe's room, Aloy. I believe they wanted private accommodations. I see. Are you sure that's what the data says? I'm telling you, it's a drink, but it's soft. How is it soft? It says here it had bubbles in it. Well... We can't expect to make sense out of everything the old ones did. You guys reading something over there? 
We just finished going through all the logs you collected back in Nora territory, and All Mother Mountain. It's hard to imagine that my ancestors were trapped inside, without the knowledge from Apollo to guide them. Thanks to Ted Farrow. Yeah. I wonder how it must have felt when they were finally free. The world must have seemed so beautiful. Not to mention terrifying. They weren't much more than kids. And they became an entire tribe. Tilda's the same as the others. It won't help us defeat them. Okay. Let's leave it at that then. What's wrong? I'm trying, Varl. But she is tough to take. I'm out there in the wilds, risking my life every day, and all she can do is hide in there and tell us how hopeless it all is. I'm sorry she's had a rough time, but she is really not helping right now. Hmm. You always seem to be on top of everything, so I sometimes forget about what you've been through. I mean, it wasn't that long ago you were so banged up you couldn't even walk. About that. When I pulled you out of the water back near the Proving Lab, you were muttering Rost's name. You never talk about him, but he raised you, trained you. You must miss him a lot. Of course I do, but I don't have time to think about that now. I need to get back out there. Okay. I'll keep working with Beta. Gaia says she knows a lot about Zero Dawn. And maybe she just needs some time to adjust, and then she can help us with Hephaestus. Sure. But I won't hold my breath. It's good to see you and Zoe enjoying yourselves. We're learning a lot. I've actually been looking through the data to find ideas for a gift, and to thank her for helping me study the glyphs. Something from the old world that she's never seen before. Instead, I found out they gave each other stuffed animals. If you ask me, stuffing a dead animal with anything, really, doesn't sound like a good time for anybody. Maybe Gaia can help you find something else. Aloy, you're here. Did you meet with the Quen already? Not yet. After all the trouble you went through getting those subfunctions, it seems unfair you have to deal with these Quen on your own, too. It's safer this way. They think I'm Sobek, or something like that. They won't hurt me, but I doubt they'll be so kind to anyone else. If you say so. Let me know if you need anything before you go. You better not be slacking off on your studies while I'm gone. And risk Zo coming after me? I value my life. In fact, I've been reading about Ted Farrow. How he destroyed the world and crawled into a hole after killing those who saved it. He definitely was a piece of work. You feeling okay? I was just thinking about Beta and all that time spent with the Zeniths. To think someone would make a person just to lock them in a room to use when needed, like some sort of tool. Elizabeth Sobek sacrificed herself for the world, and yet they have no trouble treating Beta like a slave. Another reason we have to stop them. How's training? Discovering something new about our past every day. When we first met, you asked me if I ever wondered what this world looked like when the old ones lived here. I thought it was strange at the time, but a lot has changed since I left the Embrace. Now I'm just trying to make sense of everything I thought I knew, and versus everything I know now. The change is hard, but it gets easier over time. I hope Zoe's not upset I'm distracting you from your training. Yeah, I don't think you have to worry about that. What do you mean? What happened? Before Zoe found a way to fix the land gods, I suggested that when Gaia was fully restored, she could just make new ones. Well, once we get Hephaestus, that's definitely a possibility. That's what I said. But I guess there was something about my tone she didn't like. She got pretty raw. Said I didn't understand the way her tribe feels about those machines. Which is true, of course. And the last thing I'd ever want to do is dismiss their traditions. But I was trying to look at things differently. More like you, you know? To see a machine as just a machine. Yeah, I guess I led you into trouble there, didn't I? Not your fault. Don't worry. Did you talk to Zoe? 
After your fight? I suffered through a few hours of glaring silence. Then she seemed to move on. Sort of. How do people do this? How do I know if the next thing I say won't blow up in my face? What if an apology is not enough next time? You give her a stuffed animal? You're the worst. You know that? What makes you think I know anything about any of this? You're on your own. Abandoning me again, huh? Well, if she kills me next time, it's on you. It looked like you were working on something over there. With Gaia now growing in strength, I've been trying to find a way to heal the land gods, even if some people think I should give up on them. Already said I was sorry. Your friend thought it'd be a good idea to replace the land gods with new machines when Gaia recovers. It wasn't. The land gods have taken care of our people for generations. They are not some broken toy to be thrown away. Even if they are just machines doing their job, to abandon them in their time of suffering seems cruel. I'm sure Varl understands that too. He does now. I had to get pretty mad at him at first, though. You know I can hear you guys, right? Varl looks pretty focused. He's been obsessing over the data revealed to us by Poseidon. Just the other day, we read about mountains hiding deep underwater that spew fire. If I understand correctly, Gaia said the flames they release come from the very center of the Earth, like a heart, as always. Of course, Varl's mostly interested in watching explosions happen underwater. What is it? Nothing. It's just that everything's about to change. We'll get Gaia, and she'll help us set things right. No more zeniths, no more derangement. It'll be a different world. I welcome it, but I wonder how the Nora will react, and the Karja, and, well, everyone. Let's just focus on fixing Gaia for now. You're right. We've got an angry AI to take down. Aloy, everything okay with you and Beta? It sounded like you guys had a, uh, lively conversation. We just had a lot to talk about. Does this mean she's coming with us to Gemini? It does. I hope you're ready to rein in the most stubborn AI of all time. That's what all this was for, wasn't it? Hephaestus won't go down quietly. Hephaestus is just a program that's lost its way. We are fighting for our survival. I can always call upon the goddess if you're nervous. Funny. Any last findings you want to share before leaving? Not really. Though I've reached a decision. Oh? When we put Gaia together, I want to return to the Nora, spread what I've learned. You think they'll listen to you? In time, I believe so. If anyone can make it happen, it's you, Varl. Once Gaia is back up and running, I expect you to put all your training to good use. The seeds have been planted. All they need is a chance to bloom. What? I thought that was pretty good. Zoe liked it. I'm glad you and Zoe found each other. Don't forget, you're to blame for that. What will you and Zoe do if you go back to the Embrace? I hope she'll come with me. At least for a while. And I'll go with her to Plainsong too. She'll probably want to talk to her people about all this as well. We'll figure it out. I know you will. You look like you have something on your mind. We're going to war soon. And war is something I promised myself I'd left behind in the Red Raids. But the more of your data I go through, every voice I hear, every word I read from our ancient past, it makes me realize just how much life was given so that ours could flourish. Fighting for that gift, it's our responsibility. If we fail, it was all for naught. Helps to know you're not alone. For a moment there, you sounded like Varl. I don't know what you're talking about. The core is stable. Hephaestus is 100% contained. And we better get started with the merge. It's all set up. Gaia, establish the link, please.
complete the merge, we need to excise Hephaestus' malicious code. Carefully. us quite a lot of time. Eric, get beta. And squash that bug while you're there. Zelda, get Gaia and Hephaestus ready for transport. Zelda! I failed. Hush. All is not lost. Zelda! What the hell are you doing? Stop her! So... After we lost contact with you, we regrouped and went to Gemini. What happened? The recording we found on Varl's focus cut off when that Zenith Eric... The Zeniths were tracking Hephaestus. When Gaia trapped it in Gemini, they... They knew where we were. After... Varl tried to stop them. They took Beta and Gaia. I only survived because one of the Zeniths turned against the others to save me. One of them? Well... At least we didn't lose you too. We would come out here to tend to the garden.
Sometimes I needed fresh air. Other times we would simply sit and watch the sunrise. So when we returned from Gemini, it seemed fitting that he be laid to rest here. Now he can always look out at plain song and... Further east, to the Nora sacred lands. He would have liked that. He often spoke of his sister, Bala. He said she used to gather her favorite golden blooms and tie them to her spear. Their mother called it useless, but Bala was stubborn. Yeah, she seemed like that. It wasn't easy, but I tracked down the flower, gathered its seeds, As verdant limbs wither, roots rot in snow, still the sea rises and so From death follows new life. So it is with the land. And so it is with us. I'm with child, Evoy. I was going to tell him when he got back from Gemini. Instead, one day, I'll bring our child here. We'll sit among the blooms. and watch the sunrise. I never got to tell him. To thank him. For saving my life, sure, but also... for not giving up on me. He always knew. Goodbye, Farl. I promise to look after them. I'll try to visit again when I can. But for now, I need to go to the fabrication terminal to install the new override on my spear. Then I'll use it on a sunwing and get ready for an entrance Regala will never forget. <laughs> now we're having fun, right? For Varl. None of it would have happened. You know, there was this one night, right before Varl left with you to go to Gemini, he realized I was having trouble sleeping. I was nervous about the mission. To be honest, I think we both were. So, he asked me to join him in Gaia's dome. He brought up this hologram of Earth that you two found back in the Zenith launch facility. We sat there, just looking at it. I thought about how Plainsong was just a speck on that great sphere. How every corner of it must be teeming with life. And any fears I had about our mission were gone. I miss him terribly. I know.
We did it for all. We stopped the Zeniths. We saved life on Earth. Well, for now, at least. There's another threat coming. I don't know how we're gonna beat it. But... We'll face it together. All of us. Rest easy, my friend. I'll visit again when I can. <laughs>